Hey everybody, today is Monday, February 12th, 2024, and we are here in the town of Smithfield, North Carolina. And the reason why we are in Smithfield, North Carolina is to take a look at something pretty epic that sits right in front of me. And because I'm heading back up north, back up to Pennsylvania on this very long, tedious, boring trip that I'm officially 100% sick of making. I know I've said it a thousand times, but hopefully I won't have to say it another thousand times, but I am tired of making this drive from Pennsylvania to Florida and from Florida to Pennsylvania. The trip is getting old. The drive is getting old. I no longer find it exciting. I used to find this trip to be very exciting. I used to love making this drive. I've been doing it so much now that I am so sick and tired of it. I am so over it. This is hopefully like one of two more drives I'll be taking. I wanna to try to get one more trip down to Florida, from Pennsylvania to Florida before I sell the house. And then the trip after that should be should be it. The house should be sold. It'll be my last trip driving down there. I will probably be coming back up to for other reasons, but as far as as far as being on a time crunch and whatnot and, and trying to get back and forth on a at a certain amount of time, all that'll be done and over with. I'm looking forward to that day. But anyway, oh it's very, very windy today and very noisy. We're right right off of a very, very, very busy, very noisy road. But anyway, so we are again here in Smithfield, North Carolina to take a look at something. As much as I hate making this drive, at least I am getting to see really interesting things along the highways and on my trips to and from Pennsylvania to Florida and Florida to Pennsylvania. And I knew I had to pull over and check this out because I love this kind of awesome, interesting roadside epicness. I love stuff like this. Though unfortunately, we are um, a couple weeks too early it says 101 flavors, pure enjoyment, reopen March 2024. So we are a couple of weeks too early for the reopening of this establishment, but that's okay. Because I really just want to take a look at this building because this is awesome. Take a look at this. Hills of Snow, a giant cup of shaved ice, or as they call it, snowballs. How epic is that i knew i had to pull over and take a look at this as soon as i found out that something like this existed i love this kind of thing snowballs real snow to go this is too too epic too cool 25 foot tall cup of shaved ice again this is the sort of thing i love this is amazing i love just roadside awesome epicness like this. If I was in the mood for some some shaved ice, where would I go? I would go to an establishment like this. I would go to a giant cup of shaved ice at Hills of Snow. I'm not gonna go to Rita's. I'm not gonna go to some guy pulling a cart on the side of the road. I'm gonna go to the place that looks like what I'm eating, because I love that. I love eating at places that look like giant hot dogs or, or hamburgers or giant ice cream cones or, or giant cups or whatever. This is too cool. This is awesome. This is the kind of thing I love. This is neat. This is epic. This is too cool. And I knew I had to pull over and check this out. So this was actually built in the mid 1980s by Tommy Hill. So not just a clever name for the food they're serving, Hills of Snow, but Hill also relating to the, the last name of the man who built this. Built it in his backyard in two sections. Built, built two halves of this in his backyard, out of fiberglass, shipped it here, had it brought here to this location to serve shaved ice to the people of this town. That is so cool. Some DIY construction right here. Tommy Hill said to himself, you know what? I wanna serve, I wanna serve shaved ice to to the people of the town. That's what I wanna do. That's what I want my business to be. That's what I wanna do for a living. I could I could rent one of these these many empty buildings along the along the road. I don't know if in the 80s they were empty, but you know, I could I could probably find an establishment already built that I could put my my company in, served shaved ice out of any of these buildings. But you know what? Now we're we're gonna go a step above and beyond. We're gonna do this right. We're gonna make this epic. We're gonna make this amazing. And I'm gonna build a giant cup of shaved ice to serve my shaved ice out of. And that is what he did again in the mid 1980s. I believe his daughter actually runs the stand now. 
This is too, too cool. I just, like I said, I love this sort of thing. Love it when people take it upon themselves to do something epic like this, to build something this amazing. Just look at this, a giant cup of shaved ice. I'm guessing the, the ice is made and stored back here. Just walk out the door, grab some, grab a bag of ice, probably take it inside. This is all made out of fiberglass. You can see kind of the, like the ribs of the structure. So I'm guessing fiberglass, and then maybe like plaster, put over top of it. That feels like some kind of a, of a plaster. This is just, again, this is too, too cool. If only we were here a couple weeks later, I could be trying some shaved ice right now. Although with that being said, I've never really been a big fan of, of shaved ice. Never really been my, my, my cup of, cup of, uh, I don't know, cup of confectionery enjoyment, if you will. I, I never really got into it. Even as a kid, I never really liked shaved ice. I know a lot of people say, oh, you're such a picky eater, and I am, but my picky palate did not really evolve until I was an adult. When I was a kid, I used to eat all kinds of things, and I used to love all kinds of treats, and I don't eat even even confectionaries and, and treats. I used to a lot. I used to eat a lot more of those as a kid than I do now. But even as a kid, never really cared much for for shaved ice or water ice or Italian ice or or snow cones or the other hundred thousand names they go by. Never really enjoyed it all that much. Always kind of just thought it was like you're you're eating this like crunchy. You're biting into crunchy ice, and then you just pour like chemically flavored syrup on top. The syrup, ne I never cared for the flavoring. I never cared for the syrup. It always felt like like chemical strawberry and chemical lime and chemical vanilla. Just, it always tasted like chemicals to me. I never, I never enjoyed the taste of, of a snow cone. Never was my thing, but I would be trying pills of, of snow if they were open because from what I was reading, it's all about the the quality here. They use like purified water. They shave their, their ice very, very finely. So I'm thinking more in the line of like Rita's water ice, which I, again, I don't really care for Rita's all that much, but I do eat it occasionally. And I do enjoy the consistency of their, their shaved ice. So I'm thinking more along the lines of that. So very fine shaved ice. And supposedly they make their own syrup here as well, which has me intrigued. So if they were open, I would be trying some of this. I'm thinking once they do reopen, we might have to come back out here and try some of this. I might have to make another stop at Hills of Snow. Snowballs, real snow to go out of a giant cup of, of shaved ice. Again, too awesome, this is so cool. Yeah, we're gonna have to come back. We're gonna have to come back out here and try some of this once they reopen. What's kind of blowing me away right now is not only the fact that they have 101 flavors, which you can see right here, things like banana daiquiri, birthday cake. How do you make, birth, like, how do you do that? Birthday cake flavored syrup, I, I guess. Blackberry, blueberry, I mean, French vanilla, cool. Cream soda, that would probably be my go-to. I like cream soda, so maybe cream soda, of course, lemon, pink lemonade, which sounds amazing as well, papaya, peppermint, so many interesting, unique flavors. Bananas and cream, tangerine, spearmint, root beer, whatever sea breeze is. So again, 101 different flavors you can get on your on your snow cone. Barbie flavor? What is this Barbie flavor? Pink bubble gum? Wow. That is cool. So again, not only am I tiger's blood? What the heck is Tiger's Blood? Leave comments down below. So again, not only am I kind of blown away by the fact that they have 101 flavors you can choose from to put on your, your snow cone, but they've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten different sizes of snow cones you can get, of shaved ice you can get. That is crazy. Normally when I go to places like this, you have like what? three sizes, small, medium, large, maybe like small, medium, like extra large or something like, you know, maybe, maybe four sizes, but for the most part, you're getting maybe three to four, maybe possibly five sizes. Not that many, you don't really have that many choices, but here you can go with 10 different sizes of shaved ice. That is awesome, that is so cool.
Wow, if you really, really, really like your shaved ice, you can go with the biggest, most giant cup right there. That is awesome. I love their logo. Hills, snow, snowballs. Hills of snow, snowballs. Real snow to go. I love the, uh, I love the name of that. That is awesome. They do accept credit cards. Ask about sugar-free flavors, toppings, 75 cents extra. Snow, snow cream costs extra. We don't mix creams, interesting. So you order right here and you pick up right, right there in your giant, out of your giant cup of shaved ice. That is cool, that is awesome. 101 flavors, 10 different sizes, serving the community since the mid 1980s. Tommy Hill had this great, amazing idea, serve shaved ice out of a giant cup of shaved ice. And like I said, built this himself in two parts in his backyard and then transported it here to serve the community. It's DIY construction, DIY roadside epicness. This is cool, this is awesome. I just, again, I love this sort of thing. All right, so as epic as the, the roadside stand is, I do wanna show you guys something that sits back here in the, the parking lot as well. This is something I actually saw photos of and I was hoping would be here, and it is. They take their shaved ice on the go as well. This is a, a stand, this is a traveling stand, a miniature version of, of the cup. This here being the sugar shack. Look at this. It's a miniature version of Hills of Snow. I mean, it's the same exact thing. It's just, it's tinier. Also some DIY construction. It is like a, I don't know, a quarter size version, maybe a half size. No, I see less than half. I'm gonna say a quarter size version of what sits right over there. All the different flavors, same thing. Order from there, pick up from there. Hills of Snow. This is too cool. So they can take this to, to fairs. Sounds like, the, sounds like the ice machine's actually running right now. So you can take this to fairs. You can take this to, I don't know, things going on in town. There's a parade. You can take this there. It is so cool that they built this as well. You can see it's also, I believe, made out of fiberglass and the, the actual shaved ice on top is made out of some kind of, looks like foam that isn't really holding up all that well. It needs a new paint job, but I mean, this is cool. So not one, not, not one, but two giant cups of shaved ice at Hills of Snow. This is so neat. Look at that. I can't. This is the kind of thing I love. The, the, just the, the ingenuity that went into building this, just the, the time that went into building this, the creativeness that went into building this. Like I said, I'm sure Tommy could have been very, could, could have very easily found one of these stores on the side of the road and put his establishment in that. That step beyond. I would say that I was gonna say that one step beyond. No, he went like 42 steps beyond and built this. And then said, that's not enough. Hold on, wait, wait a minute. Th this is cool, but this is stationary. Let's build something on the go as well that we can take to get fairs and parades and, and parks and whatnot. So let's let's build hills of snow to go. Literally to go. That is cool. Again, I just, I, I keep saying it. I love this sort of thing. This is awesome. So happy I decided to pull over and check this out. It's maybe about a whole three minute drive off of 95. If you're driving through the area. Come out here, check this out. They're open seasonally, but as you can see, they do open in March. So come out here, grab yourself some shaved ice, snow cone, water ice, whatever you want to call it. Try one of their 101 flavors and get served out of a giant cup of what you're eating. Out of a giant cup of shaved ice. Epic.
Again, I'm just going by things I was reading offline, but apparently the price of their snowballs ranges between 75 cents and $5. So I'm guessing if the pricing is still correct, maybe 75 cents for the small, tiny little cup up to $5 for the big, giant cup. I love that. Think about it. I mean, this can't really cost all that much to make. I mean, some electricity, maybe they they pay for, maybe they pay rent. I don't know if they own the land or if they, they pay to, to have their establishment put here. I don't know. So maybe, maybe rent, maybe, you know, of course, electricity to run, to run the stands and whatnot. Water hookups, I'm sure, but probably not a whole lot goes into to doing this. I'm sure the the overhead probably isn't too crazy. Yes, they they do actually have to to make the syrup themselves, and they have to pay employees probably and stuff as well. So again, there is some overhead, but probably nothing too crazy. So I love the fact that they don't they don't charge much for their for their their treats because some places like this would be like just charging crazy amounts of money even though it doesn't really cost them all that much to make i like the fact that they actually keep the pricing the pricing low for their customers that's how you keep customers coming back you keep the price right you say okay how can we make a profit you know, how can we pay for what we for our overhead what we need to pay for how can we also make a little bit of a profit off of that because you, you gotta make a profit of course you have to make a profit but then how can we also keep the price low enough that we do all that but we also make our customers happy and they have figured out how to to do that and everything from, from what i was reading online people are happy so many people leaving comments saying they love coming out here they love the shaved ice it's, it's delicious again i was reading about how their shaved ice is more fine it's shaved really really fine and it's apparently just incredibly delicious people making recommendations on what flavors to get even the the planter out here look at this one it kind of looks like the it actually looks like the the cup I can see them putting some kind of like round bush in here. Maybe at one point there was, I wouldn't be surprised. Probably made it look like a little cup of, of shaved ice. So like this, this is cool. This is awesome. I'm gonna have to come back out here and try some of this. Looks like at one point there was little flakes, uh, like little snowflakes painted on the ground. They've kind of, they've kind of started to wear away. Look at this, looks like some kind of fountain. Oh yeah. You can see this is a fountain. So come come the spring, water will be cascading down from here. Again, looking like a giant cup of shaved ice. That is awesome. But all right, guys, I gotta be hitting the road. I would love to get myself some shaved ice right now. I would love to try some of their shaved ice. It does sound delicious. Even though I'm not usually the biggest fan of shaved ice, I would try theirs. It sounds good. I saw pictures of what it looks like. And honestly, honestly, it looks pretty good. So I would totally try some of this if they were open. Maybe in a couple of weeks, we'll stop back here in March and try some shaved ice from Hills of Snow. Try some of their delicious snowballs. Real snow to go. If you guys have ever been here, leave your comments down below. Let me know about Hills of Snow. If you've eaten here, what do you think of this place? Do you enjoy, do you enjoy their... They're cold, delicious, frosted treats. Are they as amazing as everybody's online says? I wanna hear from you guys. Leave your comments down below. If you've been to this establishment, if you've tried their shaved ice, if you have, I definitely wanna hear from you guys. And again, back here, if you've ever eaten out of this stand as well, leave your comments down below. This is cool. This is awesome. Just, just love this so much. So like I said, leave comments down below. If you've ever eaten out of either one of these establishments, have you gotten your, your shaved ice from Hills of Snow, their main stand, or maybe from their, their travel stand, or maybe both of them, comments down below. Let me know, Let me tell me all about your favorite flavor. What's your favorite? How long have you been eating here? How many times have you eat, eaten here? Is this a, a ritual for you to come out here maybe during the spring summer into the fall you, you eat you eat dinner with your family maybe your parents would bring you out here back in the 80s maybe you bring your kids out here leave the comments down below i want to hear from you guys but all right i do have to hit the road i gotta head back to pennsylvania so i'm gonna go hop back into vanabelle and continue my extremely long tedious drive back home but all right guys again hills of snow 
very awesome. But all right, so as always, thank you all so much for checking out this video. Be sure to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, check down below for links to Patreon. If you guys do become a patron, I will send you a postcard every single month from the road. Also check down below for a link to Spreadshirt, where you can grab yourself retro, rest up t-shirts, proceeds, both from Spreadshirt and from Patreon to help support the show. And they do keep the show going, so I really do appreciate the support. And if you guys watch this video all the way until the very end, you know what, I'll leave it up to you. Hashtag your favorite flavor. Hashtag your favorite flavor of, of water ice, of, of a snow cone, of shaved ice, whatever you call it, leave your favorite flavor down below. Hashtag that. I wanna hear from you guys, but. All right, guys, again, that's gonna do it. So like I said, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and if you do hit that subscribe button or you are subscribed, then I will see you guys in the next video. One last look, hills of snow. Tell me that isn't epic. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Have a good one. Like I said, I'll see you in the next video. Bye. I know, I know, I said we were done with the video, but in true typical me fashion, even though it is beginning to rain, I am still standing around taking a look at the, the structures. I'm, I'm taking photos of the structures. And as I was doing that, I did notice that the Sugar Shack does indeed have a Hills of Snow sticker on it. So they are on Facebook, they're on Twitter, they're on Instagram, I'm sorry, they're on Facebook, they're on X, they're on, they're on Instagram. I'm gonna have to check them out. So pretty awesome. Maybe this is where they actually make the, the syrups or they store them. I have no idea. Don't know if this is where the concoctions, the flavors are made, or if this is just some, some storage. I, I do not know, but that is pretty awesome. And I also noticed on the back of this building here, even though I don't believe this building has anything to do with, with the actual hills of snow, there are snowflakes back here as well. So maybe some more storage, or maybe at one point they also owned this building, or maybe they do own this building as well. I'm not entirely sure. The, the plot thickens, if you, uh, if you will. So really interesting. Looks like there's some kind of like, maybe it's a, uh, it's a bakery. There's a bakery inside here now. So anyway, pretty interesting. Again, I love this. It's awesome. Not, not one, but two giant cups of shaved ice, plus the sugar shack out back where they maybe possibly make all the flavors that they do make themselves. That is, that is awesome. But all right, again, I have a few more photos to take. It is starting to rain and I've got to get back to Pennsylvania. So like I said, thanks for watching. Have a good one, guys. Bye.